This trick is called the suspended water trick. I'm here with Catherine. Hi. I've got a bottle of Coke here. And to begin with, I've got to take a quick drink. And I'm going to take this toothpick and I'm going to try something. If I place my hand over the top of the bottle and turn it upside down and over your head. Now, if I was to remove my hand, what are the chances you're going to get wet? Like a lot. <laughs> I'll be nice to you because it probably will happen if I carefully move my hand. Oh, a couple of drops, a couple of drops, but we're okay. In fact, people think that I'm, there's something down there that I'm holding it. So I've got a, a toothpick. If I simply place it inside the bottle, <laughs> it doesn't want to go anywhere today, but it's still there. In fact, we'll take another toothpick. So actually, I'll hold it there. I'll let you take the toothpick out. Try that again. Oh, dislodge that one. We'll go about halfway. In fact, we can throw two picks through there. One more, just for the fun of it. And you can see them rise. Now, people are still suspicious, so can you look underneath it? Can you see anything? No. No? Just the water? In fact, suspended? I don't think the camp can the camera see that, I'm not sure. In fact, I would like to prove it to you that there's nothing there. So I've got this cup here. I'm going to turn it back over. And if I just literally pour it out. And just in case people are suspicious, this is just normal water. Cheers. I think I'll have a drink. Would you like to know how this trick is done? Yes. I was asking the audience that time, because actually they do want to know how this trick is done. Out of all the tricks that I've probably put out on this series, this is probably one of the strongest tricks you can do. And the beauty of this trick is it just uses a normal bottle. There's no gimmicks, no special chemicals. Um, and one of the advantages that magicians out there watching this will know, well, is that usually you have to use a glass bottle for this trick. We're going to try it again, but with a plastic bottle. It's filled with water. You can see it kind of spurting out. I'm going to try with the plastic bottle. I'll take another toothpick and we'll go right through the middle. Oh, this. Another one not to do. Cool. Right through the top. And when I'm ready, um, look at a lot of cup space in this cup, but I could basically burst open the cup. We get lots of water in here and we can come back with the trick. So, let me show you how the trick is done. Okay, so we're now going to explain to you the trick with the suspended water. I'll go through it first with both the bottles. We've got the glass bottle and the plastic bottle. This is just a normal Coke bottle. You can use any glass bottle, J2O, uh, any, anything that's clear, because you want to be able to see the uh, toothpicks go into the bottle. I'm going to fill it up with water, approximately three quarters. You could go all the way to the top, but the reason we don't want to go any higher than that is so that you can see the toothpicks dangling on the top. Because if, if it's full up, the toothpicks will just stick, stick at the bottom. It's better to have them bob around a bit. Okay, so we're going to take the top of the bottle and all I've done is I've got some tape. This is wide tape because it makes life a little bit easier, but you can use normal thin tape as long as it covers the entire rim of the top of the bottle. One thing I should do is just dry off that bottle a little bit just so it doesn't interfere with the tape. So we'll take a tape, just place it literally on top, grab my scissors and cut that off there. I'll fold that over because we need it in a second. Now I'm going to make sure the tape is pressed down on top of the bottle. There we go. Now I'm going to take the scissors and just simply trim away all this excess. I'll just make sure I get all the edges so it doesn't have any flapping bits. Let's hire that down there. Now because the bottle is clear and the tape is clear, the theory is 
I can turn it upside down and the water doesn't come out. The tape will hold it there. Obviously you'll get the scissors and you'll just make sure it's perfect so you could get rid of all these little edges and just tidy it up so that really is completely invisible. Okay. Now to make the toothpicks go inside I take a drawing pin, a safety pin sorry, and I just stab it at the top with a safety pin, a little hole. In theory you could do it with a toothpick as well but I found the safety pin just is a little bit easier to pierce it with a wood tends to have a slight problem. And even though there's a hole in the middle of that tape, it won't come out. There's a, there's a science law, scientific law for it, but I'm not too sure. So, literally you take a uh, toothpick and you aim pretty much for the middle. I'm just gonna to make sure this is taped on there. After doing it so fast, it's like, eh. You literally, for the, little, for the middle, you can push it halfway in and then when ready, you just literally push and it should rise to the top. Now, when I'm ready to reveal, you can have a look from this direction. If the tape was properly trimmed off, you can see literally the front of that bottle and you can't see a thing. And when I'm ready to have it release with a glass version, all I'm doing is taking my finger, and I, I turn it back this way with my hand, and as I turn it back this way, my finger presses in and it pushes the sellotape into the bottle and I can now pour it out and it's, you know, I'm clear enough to do the whole thing. The gimmick itself is just a piece of sellotape because it's pushed into the bottle, no one can see it. Um, yeah, really it's clear. If you really were to examine it then obviously you, you, you might be in trouble. So it's not a good trick to have examined afterwards but for visible it looks like it's clear. So we try the similar thing with a plastic bottle, however the plastic bottle has a few advantages because in the world of magic there's a trick like this which uses a gimmick and it only ever works with glass. But if we're doing it with plastic, we'll do the same thing again, take a bit of tape, just literally place it over the mouth of the bottle. Again I fill this bottle about three quarters of the way full, make sure that tape's firmly on there, trim off the excess, but I'll do it quick, I'm not going to do it. Obviously I'll take more time and do it perfectly for uh, real performances, so that should do the job there. Just make sure that's tied down. It doesn't matter if you actually break it over the edges as well. Because it's, especially with plastic bottles, they've got the rim, and the rim will mask any kind of edges of the tape. Again, I'll take the safety pin and just put a hole on the top of it. Makes it easier for the toothpick in a moment's time. Now the advantage of having it with a plastic bottle is you can now put the top on it. And that means you can now go to your bookings and you're pretty sure that everything's going to be safe. This could be in your bag, you can do it on whenever you're ready. If you had this and you had the label on it, you would tear the label off, do it in the street. And now you're ready to, whenever you're ready to do the trick, you unscrew the lid, you perform the same effect again, and you can see that the water's not coming out. It's good, you don't want to tilt it completely, you want to be able to see, it's not water bubbles, but you can see the water inside of it through the tape. It's not a bubble, but it's, if, it, if it's nothing there, it's too clear. It just, the distortion of the water being there is important. So you don't want to turn it too much so that it creates an air pocket kind of thing. Now take a toothpick, literally aim for the hole, which is about the centre. It doesn't take long to find, it's just a little bit. Place it halfway in and Poke it to the top. I usually do about three. And it's cool that they can see it break the surface tension of the water and rise to the top. Now the next beauty of this one, I'll use the glass for it, is you don't need to touch the top. If I just literally go over the glass and squeeze the bottle, I'm, I'm doing it slowly so I don't drown myself, but if you're doing it on the street you would literally just grab it, squeeze it, and all the water would burst out with the tape. I'm not squeezing it as fast as I need to, but literally you're adding pressure to the water so it's squeezed out, I'm kind of messing myself up a bit, there you go. And so that's basically the water suspension trick. You can basically hold water upside down and it not fall out, and with the added toothpicks, it's a completely falling illusion. And when you're ready, because this is, especially with the bottle technique by the way, when you squeeze it, 
you do this on a street, you squeeze it fast enough, what actually happens is the tape comes off with the water. You're actually squeezing it so that the tape goes down with the water and gets lost on the street. So then you, this can be handed out for examination. That's the thing I was almost forgetting there. The reason is why you pull it, you squeeze it tight enough so that the whole water comes off with the gimmick and then everything is examinable at the end. You can give this away and they're not going to find anything. So that's an extra advantage to the plastic bottle version, which you can't do with the glass. I hope you enjoy it. It's one of the greatest tricks in this whole series and I'm sure you'll have lots of fun with it. Enjoy.